Hi guys, it's Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I am here with the Behringer Wing, and right now I'm gonna show you how to get your talkback microphone set up in your Behringer Wing. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now the main difference between the old Behringer X32 and this new Behringer Wing is the Behringer Wing does not have a dedicated talkback microphone built inside or a talkback microphone input on the console. You have to use one of your other additional sources. Today, I have my talkback microphone plugged into my local input 8 on the back of the board on the XLRs. And we can see that by going over my routing page, going over to my local inputs, and we can see my talkback microphone right here. So the next thing that we need to do is set up the board to either use our auxiliary 8 channel or our channel 40. And the main difference between the auxiliary 8 and the channel 40 is that the channel 40 is going to give us more processing options for our talkback microphone. And let's go ahead and see that in action. So we can see if I go and select my channel 40 and press home, I have my full processing on this channel available to me. If I go ahead and press aux 8, I miss my gate, my dynamics, and my second insert point. So if it's important for you to have compression in the gate on your talkback microphone, I would suggest using channel 40. If you do not care about having dynamics or a gate on your talkback microphone, use aux 8. Let's go ahead and actually set it up to going to both for right now. I'm going to go to routing, and I'm going to go to my channels, and I'm going to unlock them, and I'm going to find my channel 40 and pull it from my local input on 8. And I'm going to copy the source to the channel, and then additionally on my aux 8, I'm going to select that as well. So we can now see that when I'm talking into this microphone, check, 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 we can see some channel activity actually happening. So let's go ahead and lock our routing and go take a look at them. So on my talkback microphone here, check, check, I can add in a gate, check. And that way when I'm not talking into this, it automatically mutes it. Additionally, I can set up myself with some compression. Hey, check. Hey, check. And give a more pleasant experience to the band members up on stage. If I just have my aux 8, I do not have those options. I do have some EQ that I could apply. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually get this set up to output to our buses and our mains that we want to have this talkback microphone go through. We have two talk buttons on this console and they are fully configurable in either a latching or a momentary situation. So let's go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and press view in the upper left hand corner of the console. Hit the setup button. And now we have our talk A separated from our talk B. Let's go ahead and select that I'm gonna come from aux 8. Now we can see that the talk buttons will light up on the console. And now I can set up my talk buttons to either be a push or a latch. I like to have my A as a push and my B as a latch, which means on my talk A, when I press and hold, it will be talking to the band. When I release it, it will not be talking to the band. Additionally, on my talk B, it is a press and latch situation. So I can press that, be talking to the band and doing other things, and then additionally press it again. Now on this console, I currently have my bus masters set up on one through six to my band. So I am going to go ahead and select those buses on my talkback preferences. Now, when I take my talkback microphone and press talk and start talking, we will see that all six of those mix buses are now getting signal. I can use my talkback B to maybe just talk to the leader of the band on in-ear one, which is on bus four. So I'm going to remove the other buses. And so now when I press talk B, I am talking directly to my band leader. And then if I press talk A, I'm talking to all of the band. Now, if I had a monitor console set up over AES-50, I would want to have my talkback microphone going over to the monitor console. So let's go ahead and route that real quick. We can go to routing and then outputs and then AES-50A where I have my monitor console set up. I'm going to unlock, go to 48, and then go and find my talkback input. Now that I have that set, I'm going to lock. 
Now on my monitor console, they will simply go and find their AES50A channel 48 and then route that to the band's ears on their monitor console. One additional thing to note about the talkback is you can select it to go through your mains. So if you wanted your talkbacks to go through your main left-right speakers, simply select one of the mains and have that set. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, head over to my blog at dbbaudio.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel here so you will be most up-to-date with the newest releases of these videos. Thank you so much.